The cosmos, a vast and uncharted enigma, stretches before us like an open book of unexplored mysteries. Amidst this cosmic infinity, I, Teddy, feel an insatiable desire to venture into the hidden secrets of this fascinating universe. And I'm not alone in this quest. By my side is Emily, a curious and enthusiastic friend. Today, we invite you, our readers, to join us on this awe-inspiring journey through the cosmos. We aim to share our passion for knowledge and encourage you to be a part of this extraordinary adventure. Just as the cosmos is a puzzle waiting to be unraveled, each page of this book will open a new door to understanding and wonder. So, are you prepared to accept our invitation to join the adventure? Alongside us, you will embark on a stunning discovery of the cosmos, a journey that promises to ignite your curiosity, spark your imagination, and instill a profound appreciation for the wonders that await beyond the stars. Our first stop was Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and is the first one from the Sun. It's only about 4,880 kilometers, 3,032 miles in diameter which is just a little bigger than Earth's moon. Despite its small size, Mercury is quite heavy for its size. Emily and I were amazed to learn that Mercury is incredibly close to the Sun, at an average distance of about 57.9 million kilometers, 36 million miles. Because of its proximity to the Sun, Mercury doesn't have much of an atmosphere to speak of and its surface temperatures can be extreme, ranging from scorching hot to frigidly cold. As we approached Mercury, we noticed its unique reddish-brown colour, which is due to the presence of iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. This gives Mercury a somewhat rusty appearance. Another fascinating fact about Mercury is that it has a day longer than its year. It takes about 88 Earth days for Mercury to orbit the Sun, but it rotates on its axis very slowly, taking about 176 Earth days to complete one rotation. This means that a day on Mercury, one rotation, is longer than its year, one orbit around the Sun. We were also intrigued by Mercury's surface, which is covered in craters, similar to the Moon. These craters were formed by the impact of asteroids and comets over billions of years. Some of these craters are incredibly deep and have steep walls. As Emily and I continued our journey through the solar system, next up we would be visiting Venus, a planet often referred to as Earth's sister planet, due to its similarities in size and composition. But for now, we said goodbye to Mercury and set our sights on the next adventure. After leaving Mercury, Emily and I went to Venus, which is the second planet from the Sun. Venus is similar in size to Earth, which makes it like our sister planet. But there are some big differences. Venus is super hot all the time because it has a thick blanket of clouds that trap heat. These clouds also make Venus look really bright in the sky. Venus is about 108 million kilometers, 67 million miles, away from Earth, which is quite a distance. Even though it's close in size to Earth, Venus is very different. It's way too hot and has poisonous gases in its atmosphere, so people can't live there. Something really neat about Venus is that it spins backward compared to most planets. Imagine if the Earth spun the other way around. The surface of Venus is covered in rocky plains and mountains, 
it's kind of like a rough, rocky desert. Oh, and one more thing. Venus doesn't have any water, and it rains acid. So, it's definitely not a friendly place for humans. Our adventure with Venus was exciting, but we had more planets to explore in our solar system. Next up, we were heading to our home planet Earth to learn more about it and the life it supports. But for now, we waved goodbye to Venus and continued on our cosmic journey. After our fun visit to Venus, Emily and I came back to our special home planet, Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and it's where we live. Earth is incredible because it's just perfect for us and all the animals and plants. It's not too hot and not too cold, so we can enjoy the weather outside. We're about 149.6 million kilometers, 93 million miles, away from the sun. That's just the right distance to keep us warm, but not too hot, like being in a cozy spot. One amazing thing about Earth is that it's mostly covered in water, like big oceans and seas. That's why we call it the Blue Planet. Water is super important for everyone to drink and for fish to swim in. Earth has all kinds of different places, like tall mountains, deep forests, hot deserts, and even frozen places like the North and South Poles. And Earth spins around like a top, which gives us day and night. It takes about 24 hours for one full spin, so that's why we have 24-hour days. When it's daytime, the sun is up, and when it's nighttime, it's all dark and the stars come out. Earth is also on a big trip around the sun, and that takes about 365 days. This trip gives us our four seasons. Spring with flowers, warm summer, colourful fall with falling leaves, and snowy winter. Did you know that Earth is like a giant puzzle with different pieces? Imagine it as a big, round cake. Deep inside, there's a super hot part called the core. It's like the Earth's hot, molten center. On top of the core, there's a squishy layer called the mantle. It's like the Earth's gooey filling. And the outside, the part we walk on, is called the crust. It's like the Earth's outer layer, just like the skin of an apple. Under the ground, there are big pieces like jigsaw puzzle pieces. Sometimes, these pieces move around and bump into each other, which makes mountains go up and causes things like earthquakes and volcanoes. Around the Earth, there's a special invisible layer called the atmosphere. It's like a comfy blanket of air that helps keep us warm and lets us breathe. Imagine it's like the air you feel around you. And here's something cool. Earth is the only planet we know where you can find lots of water. There are big oceans, lakes and rivers. It's like a giant playground for fish and other animals that live in the water. So Earth isn't just a big rock. It's like a puzzle with layers, a cozy air blanket and lots of water to explore. We're so lucky to live on this amazing planet. We should always be kind to Earth and take care of it because it's our home. We want to keep it clean and healthy so we can enjoy all the amazing things it gives us. With Earth being our home, Emily and I felt so lucky to live here. But there are more planets to explore in our solar system. So we packed up and got ready for our next adventure. Our next stop was Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun. As we continue our journey, we're now heading towards Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun. 
Mars is often called the Red Planet because of its distinctive reddish appearance. It's the fourth planet from the Sun, making it our neighbor in the solar system. Mars is about half the size of Earth, which makes it the second smallest planet in the solar system, just a bit larger than Mercury. Even though it's smaller than Earth, Mars is still an intriguing place. One of the most exciting features of Mars is its proximity to Earth. While the distance between our two planets varies due to their elliptical orbits, on average, Mars is about 140 million miles away from Earth. This distance makes Mars one of the most feasible planets for future human exploration and colonization. Mars has a fascinating landscape with many similarities to Earth, including mountains, valleys and even polar ice caps. The largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, can be found on Mars. It's about 13.6 miles high, making it nearly three times taller than Mount Everest, Earth's highest peak. Mars also boasts Valles Marineris, a colossal canyon system that dwarfs the Grand Canyon in the United States. Another remarkable aspect of Mars is its thin atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide. This atmosphere is much less dense than Earth's, and it lacks the oxygen needed for humans to breathe. However, it does contain traces of other gases like nitrogen and argon. The thin atmosphere, along with its smaller size, contributes to the planet's cold and harsh conditions, with temperatures dropping as low as 125 degrees Celsius. Mars has been a subject of great interest for scientists and space enthusiasts alike, as it may hold clues about the possibility of past or present life beyond Earth. Missions like the Mars rovers, such as Curiosity and Perseverance, have been sent to explore its surface and search for signs of life or past habitability. As Emily and I continue our cosmic adventure, Mars has proven to be another captivating stop on our journey through the vast and mysterious solar system. We can't wait to see what other secrets this intriguing planet may reveal. Our next destination is Jupiter. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and is a true giant among celestial bodies. Jupiter is a behemoth in terms of size. It's so massive that it could fit all the other planets in the solar system inside itself and still have room to spare. This gas giant has a diameter of approximately 86,881 miles, making it more than 11 times wider than Earth. Its immense size is one of its defining characteristics. Despite its considerable size, Jupiter is quite distant from Earth. On average, it's about 484 million miles away from our planet. This vast distance places it beyond the asteroid belt, a region between Mars and Jupiter, populated by numerous small celestial objects. Despite its considerable size, Jupiter is quite distant from Earth. On average, it's about 484 million miles away from our planet. This vast distance places it beyond the asteroid belt, a region between Mars and Jupiter populated by numerous small celestial objects. One of the most recognizable features of Jupiter is its stunning appearance. The planet boasts a beautiful array of colors in its atmosphere, including bands of orange, brown and white. These bands are caused by different layers of clouds and atmospheric conditions. Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has been raging for centuries, is another distinctive feature on its surface. 
Jupiter is a giant in more ways than one. It has a powerful magnetic field, making it the strongest in our solar system. This magnetic field creates intense radiation belts around the planet, making it a hazardous place for spacecraft to explore. The planet is also home to a fascinating array of moons, with over 80 currently known. Some of its most famous moons include Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. These moons vary in size and have diverse characteristics, making them intriguing subjects for scientific study. Jupiter's massive size exerts a gravitational influence on other celestial bodies, helping to protect the inner planets, including Earth, from potential comet and asteroid impacts. It acts as a cosmic vacuum cleaner of sorts, capturing or deflecting many of these space rocks before they can reach our home planet. This gas giant holds the promise of thrilling discoveries on our cosmic journey. Next up, we're setting our sights on Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and is known for its stunning ring system, making it one of the most visually captivating planets in the solar system. Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter, but it has a unique feature that sets it apart, its magnificent ring system. These rings are made up of countless particles of ice and rock, and they encircle the planet in a brilliant display. They extend for thousands of miles in every direction, but are incredibly thin, only about 30 feet, 10 meters, thick. If you were standing on one of Saturn's moons, you'd have a breathtaking view of these magnificent rings stretching across the sky. In terms of size, Saturn is no slouch either. It has a diameter of approximately 74,900 miles, making it the second largest planet in the solar system, after Jupiter. Despite its substantial size, Saturn is a bit lighter than it looks, because it's mostly composed of hydrogen and helium, the same gases that make up stars. Saturn is also quite distant from Earth, and its average distance from the Sun is about 886 million miles. This places it beyond Jupiter in our solar system. Now, here's a fascinating fact. Saturn is the least dense planet in the solar system. If you could find a bathtub big enough to put Saturn in, it would float. This remarkable low density is due to its primarily gaseous composition, which gives it its characteristic lightness. As we approach Saturn, we can't help but be enchanted by the thought of cruising through its awe-inspiring ring system and exploring its many moons. This ringed wonder is sure to provide us with more celestial mysteries to uncover on our incredible journey through the solar system. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, a unique and mysterious planet in our solar system. Unlike most of the other planets, Uranus rotates on its side, appearing to roll along its orbital path rather than spinning like a top. This axial tilt gives Uranus its distinctive sideways appearance, and it's one of the reasons it's often referred to as the Ice Giant. In terms of size, Uranus is quite impressive, with a diameter of about 31,763 miles. It's roughly four times the diameter of Earth. Despite its size, Uranus is a distant neighbour, located approximately 1.8 billion miles away from the Sun, making it one of the outermost planets in our solar system. Another intriguing feature of Uranus is its pale blue-green colour, which is the result of its atmosphere primarily composed of hydrogen, helium and methane. 
Methane in the upper atmosphere scatters sunlight, giving Uranus its distinct hue. Uranus is surrounded by a system of faint rings and a collection of moons. It has 13 known rings, which are much less prominent than Saturn's dazzling display, but still hold their own unique charm. Uranus has 27 known moons, with the five largest being Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Oberon. These moons vary in size and appearance, and they provide further opportunities for exploration and study. One captivating fact about Uranus is that it's one of the coldest planets in our solar system. Its average temperature hovers around minus 224 degrees Celsius, making it a frigid and inhospitable place for human exploration. As we venture toward Uranus, we can't help but wonder what secrets and surprises this enigmatic ice giant will reveal to us. Our cosmic journey continues, and we eagerly anticipate the mysteries that await on this distant and intriguing planet. Our next destination is Neptune. Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. Neptune is a mesmerizing ice giant known for its striking azure blue coloration. This distinctive hue is the result of the planet's atmosphere, primarily composed of hydrogen, helium and traces of methane. Methane in Neptune's atmosphere absorbs red light, giving it its characteristic blue appearance. Neptune's size is impressive, with a diameter of about 30,775 miles, making it slightly smaller than its neighbour, Uranus. It's also quite distant from the Sun, residing approximately 2.8 billion miles away. This immense distance places Neptune in the outer reaches of our solar system. One fascinating feature of Neptune is its dynamic weather patterns. The planet experiences extreme winds, with some reaching speeds of over 1,500 miles per hour. These powerful winds, along with its deep blue colour, have earned Neptune the nickname the Windy Planet. Neptune is not a planet that basks in sunlight. It receives only a fraction of the sunlight Earth does, and it's a very cold place, with temperatures plummeting to about minus 201 degrees Celsius. Another intriguing aspect of Neptune is its moon system. It has 14 known moons, with Triton being the largest and most notable. Triton is unique among large moons in our solar system because it orbits Neptune in a retrograde direction, opposite to the planet's rotation. This suggests that Triton may have been captured by Neptune's gravity in the distant past. Neptune also possesses a faint ring system, similar to Uranus, consisting of narrow and faint rings composed of dust and rock. As we explore Neptune, we can't help but be amazed by its deep blue beauty and its status as the last stop in our solar system. Our cosmic journey has taken us to some remarkable places, and Neptune is a fitting finale, with its mysteries and wonders awaiting our discovery. In the vast cosmos that surrounds our planet Earth, one celestial body stands out as the source of all life and the cornerstone of our solar system, the Sun. This magnificent star not only defines our days and nights, but also sustains the existence of every living thing on our planet. In this essay, we will explore the Sun's significance as a star, its role as the gravitational centre of our solar system, its scorching nature, and its indispensable contribution to life on Earth.
At the heart of our solar system, the sun shines as a colossal ball of hot, glowing gases. Its sheer size is staggering, with a volume that could accommodate more than a million Earths within its fiery confines. Its brilliance and warmth radiate outward, piercing the darkness of space and reaching us on Earth, providing us with light and the life-giving energy we need. In the vast expanse of space, the Sun reigns supreme as the gravitational anchor around which all the planets orbit. Its gravitational pull is so powerful that it keeps the planets in their perpetual dance, preventing them from drifting away into the cold depths of space. This centrality not only defines our planetary movements, but also underscores the Sun's role as the ultimate source of stability within our solar system. The Sun is not merely a bright and shining presence in the sky. It is a raging inferno of searing heat. This intense heat generates the incredible energy that fuels the Sun and radiates outward, ultimately reaching our planet. Despite its great distance from Earth, the Sun's heat is vital to maintaining the optimal temperature for life as we know it. The Sun is unequivocally the lifeblood of our planet. Its radiant light enables the process of photosynthesis in plants, generating the oxygen we breathe and the sustenance we require for survival. The Sun's warmth caresses our world, creating a comfortable environment for countless species, including humans, to thrive. It bathes our landscapes in its golden glow, lending vibrancy and beauty to the natural world. As we contemplate the Sun's awe-inspiring qualities, we must remember that it is not a distant, irrelevant entity, but rather our celestial guardian. It bestows upon us the gift of life, illuminates our days and warms our hearts. Without the Sun's enduring presence, our planet would be a desolate, icy wasteland, devoid of life and colour. In conclusion, the Sun, our radiant star, stands as a testament to the wonders of the universe. Its brilliance in the sky is a constant reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things and the celestial forces that shape our existence. In the grand tapestry of our cosmic adventure, the Sun, our guiding star, takes its rightful place as the luminous heart of our solar system. Its brilliance, warmth and boundless energy have been the driving force behind every step of our journey through the celestial wonders. From the scorching plains of Mercury to the icy realms of Neptune, we have traversed the vastness of space encountering a breathtaking array of planets, moons and mysteries. Each stop on our journey has deepened our appreciation for the infinite beauty and complexity of the universe. We have marveled at the swirling storms of gas giants, witnessed the ethereal dance of planetary rings, and explored the extremes of temperature and terrain that define our cosmic neighbours. As our journey through the solar system comes to a close, we are reminded that the universe is a vast and wondrous place, filled with stories yet untold and mysteries waiting to be unravelled. Our adventure may have reached its final chapter in our own cosmic neighbourhood, but the cosmos beckons with its infinite possibilities and the promise of new horizons. With the memories of our cosmic odyssey etched in our hearts, we carry forward the spirit of curiosity and the thirst for knowledge, knowing that the universe is an open book, its pages filled with the stories of stars, planets and galaxies. <laughs>